Tonight, an update to a News for Jack's I-Team investigation into what residents have called unlivable conditions at a local apartment complex. Today, city leaders gathered there to address next steps in the legal battle with the owner. The city wants to recover some of the money spent to keep those apartments livable and the money spent to avoid relocating residents who are in condemned units. We're talking about the Colonial Forest Apartments on Firestone Road, not far from I-295. News for Jack's consumer investigator Tiffany Salome live outside that complex with what residents, Tiffany, are still concerned about. Well, it looks like the owner is finally obliging the city's request and a judge's order to clean up the property. This is one of the first times we've seen a dumpster on the property that's not overflowing. In the past, the city has paid to remove trash that's piling up in the parking lot, and they're also paying to keep a fire watch on the property 24-7 to keep an eye on the property in case of an issue while those rotting staircases are repaired. Charging rent for unsafe structures will not be tolerated in the city of Jacksonville, especially not in District 14. Officials from Code Enforcement and the Fire Marshal's Office joining Councilman Rockman Johnson for a press conference at Colonial Forest Apartments this morning. And to the landlords, we are not here to fight. We're not trying to fight you. Johnson gave an update on the city's recent injunction requiring the owner of Colonial Forest to clean up the swimming pool and bring dumpsters back to the property. You listened to the councilman speaking today. Day. Yes. What were your thoughts on what he had to say? Oh, I thought it was excellent what he had to say, and I'm hoping he's able to do what can be done to try to fix, the, get the owners to, to do better for the people that live here. It's horrible. Johnson says the city is going to be seeking to recover the dollars spent on a fire watch and the money spent to make structures like collapsing balconies and stairwells safe again for residents. The city is not going to pay for services of a complex uh, when landlords are getting rent from tenants. The city is making progress rebuilding condemned staircases on the property, but residents tell me that the issues go beyond that. Some of them are living without a door to get inside their apartment unit. I pay too much a month of rent here to be living like this. Citations from code enforcement date back to May of this year, while residents have been complaining about a lack of trash pickup since November of 2022. It's just a shame that it has come to this. Chief of Code Compliance Thomas Register says it's important residents report any potential violations by calling 630 City because they can't address issues without a record of complaints. Just reach out to us. We'll, we'll open up dialogue with you. And if you want to file that complaint, we'll take care of your issue for you. Councilman Johnson also highlighted the city's revolving loan fund program, which offers landlord up to $1 million in repayable loans with interest rates as low as zero and 1%. I have more info posted on that on newsforjacks.com. For now, we're live in the West Side, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.